Now, you're here with the Passion Band. You guys are part of this tour. And um, tell us a little bit about what it's meant for you to be a part of this tour. Well, we were a part of the first night in Boston when it kicked off um, late last year. And then we actually jumped off because Passion had a tour going on. So we jumped off. So now here we're back and we're going to finish out the tour. And we love being a part of what's happening here. We love the local church. We love any time we can gather with pastors and leaders of the local church. It really means a lot to us. And so we're excited to be here and, and lead and, and uh, see what God does. Now, of course, everyone is, has been hearing your music for several years now. Let's go back a little further okay. and talk about, when, was there a moment when you first felt inspired to pursue music, um, or was it kind of a process for you? Uh, and definitely a process. Uh, I've always loved music, and I started playing guitar and singing when I was about 13, and it was really, really terrible. It was really <laughs> awful, so the process was me figuring out how to improve and get better, but um, I actually, a, a buddy that I'm leading with, uh, Brett Yonker, tonight, he and I met when we were much younger and began writing together, writing songs and leading, and, um, and then it was actually, it was around 2005 where I really felt the call called by God to, to, to be a worship leader. Um, you know, music was something I was doing, but I was writing all kinds of different songs, pop songs and country songs and love songs for my wife and all that. <laughs> and so, but it was really, and I, and I you know, still do some of that, but, but in 2005, it was really clear to me that God was calling me to lead his people, to write songs for the church, to sing. Um, and now, uh, since Passion City Church started six years ago, I've been a worship leader there. Yeah, so that's why being here means so much to us, because we're all just church people. You know, yeah. all these people that are here tonight are on our worship team at our church. And so, um, yeah, so I've been doing it for, for a while and, and still learning, you know, still in the process, really, of figuring out how to get better and how to write better songs and all that. So how did you um, become connected with, with Passion? I know you go to Passion City Church, and how did that whole thing happen, getting involved with the band and well, Louis Giglio and I were leading at a student conference for uh, high school students in the summer about 2000, it was 2004, it was about 11 years ago. And I was leading worship, he was one of the speakers, and we met and went to lunch and friendship started. And um, I led at Passion 2005 in Nashville. And uh, that was when the, the connection started. And so ever since then, I've been a part of leading and, um, and serving any way that, that I can, and my wife too. And so. It's a, it's a great family. It really is just a bunch of people who want to see college students wake up to the love of God and know that their life is meant to be for something a lot bigger than themselves, and that's Jesus. And so that's we love being a part of it. Now, I was reading um, on your website where you were talking about how that, as a teenager, you first started learning how to play guitar. Yeah. And it was kind of from you'd been writing songs in your head for all these years, and you needed yeah. to to get those out. Yeah. <laughs> so, what were some of those first songs that you were... <laughs> oh, again. Did, did anyone very, ever very, hear them? They were terrible songs. Let me just say that loud and clear. They were awful. <laughs> I wish I could remember. A lot of them are gone. I remember, you know, a few. But, um, but yeah, you know, ever since I was a, a little kid, I, was, I always loved music. And then yeah. this, you know, lyrics started to form, you know, silly lyrics. And then, you know, melody started to happen. And, and it really just started a process, like I was saying earlier, just to figuring out, well, how, you know, how do I write a, a good song? And you just work and work and work and work, and just like anything else, you know, you just continue to get better. And, and every year, you know, we write songs for passion um, every year, and I feel like every year I'm still learning so much about um, songwriting and what it means to, to write a great song. And so um, you know, hopefully we're still getting better and better and better. Is there one particular song that has impacted you the most personally? You mean like worship song, any kind of song? Could be any kind of song. Yeah, I mean, my roots are in like anything my dad listened to growing up. So like a lot of the stuff that influenced me big time when I was a kid was like uh, Stephen Curtis Chapman was a huge, a huge influence. And then Keith Green was always playing in our house. But then it was also like Billy Joel and James Taylor and um, U2 and Journey and all those things. So I got a lot of like the pop, like 80s pop, you know, roots yeah. in me somewhere. And... So a lot of that stuff, but you know, now I, I love a lot of different kinds of music. I love what, what's coming out of a lot of different churches right now, and but I also love some pop music, and I'm a huge country music fan too, so I try to soak it all in and kind of absorb what's happening in music right now so that when we're writing, it's kind of true to, I guess, truer to what's happening right now. 
Okay. So what's a current song that you're really you're really feeling? <laughs> oh man. Your guilty uh, your guilty current pleasure. My <laughs> guilty current pleasure. Um, man, you know, I guess right now, um, I mean, honestly, if you want to know, I, there's the new Matt Carney record came out on Tuesday, and that's what I'm listening to right yeah. now. So. Okay. And you guys are going to be, uh, you have several more dates with this tour, yeah. and then you're going to be touring with Passion mm -hmm. uh, several, for the rest of the year. Yeah. And then it's all leading up to the SEND um, conference mm -hmm. that's happening in Nashville yeah. in August. And you guys are going to be part of that, right? Yeah, so we'll finish out this tour, uh, next five or six dates here with this tour, and then um, you know, throughout the year, honestly, we're, we're, we're at church every Sunday, and so we have church every Sunday, and then throughout the year, we'll, we'll do, um, we have a new, Passion has a new record coming out, March 17th, it's called Even So Come, and so when the new record comes out, I'm sure we'll, we'll go and, and, you know, do some kind of a tour for that, uh, but then, yeah, August uh, 3rd and 4th at Bridgestone, we're, we're going to be back for the SEND conference, and we're really excited to be, to be back, to be part of that, so Nashville's a really special, special place, we had Passion here several years in a row, and so, to be back in that arena, back in the city, is, it's very cool, yeah. Yeah, and of course the Passion Conference is always such a huge thing for college students. Yes. And has there been one particular um, event or concert that has really stuck out to you personally um, and just was a really special moment for you? Just in my life in general? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So oddly enough, uh, my very first Passion Conference or Passion Gathering I ever went to, I was in high school and um, I think it was a junior in high school, and it was 2001, and it was this, it's now called the Buckhead Theater in Atlanta, it used to be called the Roxy, and it was just a night of worship and prayer, and I had no idea what I was going to, honestly, and uh, a friend of mine said, I have an extra ticket, and so I showed up and met God in such a powerful way that night, and, um, and it really is, it's a moment that I look back on, even now I look back on and, and know that that was such a turning point in my life, and um, and so that was a really, really special night. And then, of course, you know, what we get to be a part of at, at Passion Conferences every year, earlier in the year, um, just earlier this year, we were in Phillips Arena and, and Toyota Center. And um, so it, it, every, every year we gather, there's, some, there's, there's a memory or there's a moment, several moments where you walk away and go, man, God is so good to give us his, his presence and his Holy Spirit. And um, so yeah, and, and church, I mean, I could go on forever, but <laughs> church, church every Sunday is that way. You know, we, I get home from church every Sunday and go, God, I can't believe that we get to be a part of this. So yeah, yeah a, lot, a lot of memorable moments. And of course, you mentioned the new Passion um, album is coming out March 17th, yep. right? Yep. Okay, and tell everyone where they can uh, find the website for yep. Passion. It's, it's 268generation.com okay. is the website. And then when the record comes out, you can find it on iTunes and Christian bookstores, I'm, I'm sure. So. Right. Thanks so much, Christian, for Absolutely. stopping Thank by you. to chat with us. Yeah.